Hey everyone. Today I am going to share with you five facts about ancient Egypt. So fact number one, the Nile River was really important to ancient Egyptian society. Um, and not just because it provided water for their crops. It was something that was used on an everyday basis uh, for people's homes because ancient Egypt actually didn't have a system to bring running water into homes. So you would have to go to the river to be able to get a lot of your water for things. So like if you needed to do laundry, you would probably go and wash your clothes in the Nile River. Um, most homes didn't have bathtubs. So if you needed to uh, take a bath, you would probably go to the river to do that. Um, most homes did not have uh, toilets in them. Your toilet was typically a bowl or a bucket that would probably be in the corner of your home. And at some point in time, that's gonna have to get emptied out. And usually when that happens, you would take it and you would go dump it in the river, which, you know, that's all something that you would understand, except for the fact that the river was also your drinking water, which to me was seemed pretty gross. Um, which leads me into fact number two. Everyone in that society drank beer quite a bit. Um, it was something that was just completely normal. Um, the fermentation process for creating the beer would actually uh, kill a lot of the harmful germs that were in the water and uh, that would be something could actually cause somebody to get sick. And so that fermentation process took out, took out a lot of those uh, issues. Um, but their beer was very different from what we would think of today. Um, it was not nearly as alcoholic as uh, beer is typically today. Um, it was also very thick and it was, um, it was actually very nutritious. It's also pretty sweet. Um, so fact number three, in ancient Egyptian society, hygiene and proper grooming was considered to be very, very important. In fact, if you were somebody who didn't have proper grooming or you didn't take care of yourself real well, you were actually considered to be inferior and would actually be looked down upon by the people around you. And um, one of the ways that they would uh, do that was um, typically in that society, if you wanted to smell good, you would have what was called a perfumed head cone, which is actually a lot like what it sounds like. You would have a cone that was made out of wax um, with herbs or flowers that were mixed in with that wax and you would take the cone put it up on your head and your body heat or the heat from the temperature around you would slowly cause that wax to melt, which would release the smells from those herbs and from those flowers and it would create this pleasant aroma around you. So fact number four, if you were going to school, you would probably be learning how to use a system of hieroglyphics. Now our alphabet in English only has 26 letters that you have to learn. Hieroglyphics had over 700 unique signs that you would have to learn in order to be able to read their language. Um, some of the symbols would mean an actual thing, like uh, if you saw a symbol for a bird, it might actually mean a bird. But if some symbols, like if you saw a symbol for a snake, it would potentially mean that sound. So it was a pretty complex lang written language that people had to learn. And in fact, number five, if you were going to see hieroglyphics, you might see it in a tomb or something like that, which leads us to mummification. And mummification was actually very uh, expensive. And it, especially if you got the full mummification, like somebody who was like a pharaoh or something like that received, it took a very long time. It could take a month or longer to completely mummify someone. Um, and when the mummy was laid in the sarcophagus and, the, and was buried in the tomb, um, they would actually be, uh, potentially include uh, food or household goods with that sarcophagus because ancient Egyptians believed very strongly in the afterlife. And they believed that if they included these food, this food and these household goods, that it would provide for this person and they would have these goods in the afterlife to help them um, as they went on that journey. So if you would like to learn more facts about ancient Egypt, please check out the collection of materials on Hoopla. There's some really great books about ancient Egypt on there and you can learn more about it.